Hello there and welcome to Cody's Garden. Today is the 14th of April and today we're in my kitchen. So in today's video I'm going to share with you some of the ways in which I store my seeds. So you can see here in front of me have this very old Irish pine kitchen dresser. And so over here I store most of my garden tools, garden books, lots of seeds. I have also stored some infused aisles that I've been working with over the years. I have some storage jars up there. So coming down here then, I have these reusable boxes, which I store most of my seeds. Over here then, I have this reusable bowl. And in here then, you can see I have lots of seeds, such as the gladioles. We have some broom. We have some chives. We have some hazel. So all of these seeds, I'm going to have to scatter into the land in the next couple of days. Coming over here then, I have this reusable mug. This is a Celtic Irish mug. And in here then, I've got lots of seeds. I'm not quite sure of the name of these seeds. Um, they've been in here for a good couple of months now. So I'm just going to show you then what I've done over the last couple of years um, when I'm collecting the seeds from the backyard garden. I store them in these envelopes that I've created. So over here then we have some chives from last year. You can see all the seeds are in here. We also have some Budlia seeds from the backyard garden. One of Ireland's beautiful butterfly bushes. So the seeds are in here. We also have some secret, one of Ireland's wildflowers. So they look very much like the chives, except for the seeds are brown, like a, like a light tan brown. And there you can see. And in the back there, then we have some marigold seeds that I've harvested from one of the raised garden beds in the backyard. So they're almost, almost ready to go out into the garden at this point. So you can see there got quite a lot of seeds to work with. Coming in here then, I have this reusable brown paper bag. And in here then, I have all my sweet pea seeds that I've harvested over the years. And in this jar then, I have some bamboo. So there's so many ways in which you can store your seeds. And this is just something I've been doing for the last couple of years. It's accessible for me to get to them and put them straight into the garden. And over here then we have some rooting powder that I use sometimes um, if I need a little boost in speeding up the growing process such as trees. I also have some Irish and marigold seeds in here that came from the backyard garden. We have some preserved goodies in here. And coming over here then in the cauldron pot, I have lots of broom. So I love the broom plant. This is one of Ireland's native shrubs. And in the spring and summertime, it produces beautiful clusters of yellow flowers with a beautiful coconut fragrance smell. I'm just going to give you a little glimpse into what the seeds look like. So they snap open like so. And inside you get, sometimes you get around seven seeds. They're very easy to identify. And that's the one thing I love about the broom seeds. You know, you can see where you're planting them in the garden. So they're a good, decent size. So my goal now in the next couple of days is to get all of these seeds, well, most of them at least, into the garden and see a production of growth happening out there. So they're a decent size seed pod you can see here and you know you can store them for as long as you want so we also have a sugar bowl here and sometimes I store my seeds in here and I pop the lid on because I'm right next to the back door so it's important for me to put them in a dark jar of some description and some boxes um, but I do love this little spot for storing my seeds and that's it today. That's it for today's video. Thanks very much for watching and God bless.